Hey guys, today a little something, another little something from Yankee Candle we'd like to share with you, just a little video. Um, so remember we told you that uh, we've been trying out new scents from Yankee Candle and just to be on the safe side, we're not going to buy any jars, but just those votives. And it's a good thing because sometimes it's a hit, sometimes it's a miss. Some Yankee Candles smell so good, and yet when you burn them, you don't smell them at all. It's like you have just a very regular uh, colored uh, candle in there. No sense at all. Uh, so, but then, then, there was this time when he gave us this little thing right here. And that, this one, it was just a bonus, just something to throw in there. Just to thank us as, uh, you know, uh, how do you say, the returning customers. Uh, but this one smells so good. And this whole corner, it makes this whole corner smells good. You know, from all the from all the candles right there. So me and Mike have been to trying, but we didn't know how. And we thought maybe this is the way. Maybe this will guarantee more sense than um, this thing. And one thing, guys, I know this this is all over the place. But one thing, we've, I've been reading online from different people, customers, um, leaving their feedback behind that the Yankee candles change. Something is wrong. They don't smell um, as good anymore. And someone tried to talk it down by saying that, well, you probably are sick or this or that, or the COVID, there's something where you say, no, really guys, it's just a BS because we know when something smells good, you smell it. And when it doesn't, it just doesn't. And we're still the same people. So, but yeah, like this one, this one smells so good. And this one that we have here is from the, uh, the last paradise collection. It's called the star fruit something. You don't smell it at all. So this is, so uh, me and Mike were like, hey, this one smells so good, we wanna light it up, but we don't have a burner for it. So then Mike got the idea that maybe we should try more of these and see how they work. So he bought the burner for this one and it, sh it should fit in there. Was this the one from the Yankee Candle? Yeah. Okay, yeah, so this is their own. Oh yeah, just, it says just, so. just uh, cut this off. Yeah, it says so. No, it says so on the bottom. Yeah, so uh, he got that one and it should fit in here, we hope. Not yeah, really sure. Of course. It's gonna fit? Yeah. And, does it? Oh yeah, yeah thank God, okay. And he also, while he was at it, he let's also- try this one? Yeah, let's do that. He also got these. So, and then he showed me, because I always concentrated on jars and votives, but he also showed me the Yankee Candles has what they call uh, tarts little ones i think this one yeah this one would qualify as a tart because it looks like a tart tarty tarty and then they also have um the melts which are these ones wax melts fast fragrance this smells come on like guys a, cut it out like miko starbucks did you guys see that trying to bite her yeah that one smells like starbucks it does the chai Apple chai or something. You need to. So, um, sweet maple chai. Shall I make a picture? Sweet of maple chai. Yeah, but I also sometimes go back to these, our own videos to see what we got. So, he also got us this one the clean cotton. You can actually smell it through the plastic. And he got us the mango peach salsa. Oh, yeah. But the thing is, it doesn't say anything at all that you guys, that something smells good. It's about, does it smell good when you light them up? So, so this is what he got. Just for the sake of, I'm going to share, show to you he, the beach escape. He got us the seaside woods. He got us the midnight jasmine. Clean cotton already had the midnight jasmine. And another one of the seaside woods. Seaside wood, yeah. So there it is. Wow, you got, oh, we're finally going to burn this. It's been yeah. sitting there for three months or something. So we're going to put this one in. Still love our Yankee Candle jar holder. So beautiful, so nice. And this one looks really nice inside. And it's cat, cat proof? It's cat proof completely, yeah, <laughs> yeah. All right, so you know what? Instead of what I've been doing so far, just share with you what we got. I'll um, wait until we have, um, you know, used this a little longer and then also tell you 
Uh, maybe I should do that with these two, but then it's going to take a long time before I can edit this video. So I'll just have to just save every little video every now and then. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to share with you guys after we tried some of these, if these guarantee more scent in your house. So let me do that. Guys, I can already tell you this is the same day, five minutes later. Well, about 10 minutes, maybe I was making some uh, tur turnovers, 12 minutes. 12 minutes. This one works. This was the sweet apple chai. Sweet maple. Sweet maple chai. Sweet maple chai. Oh my God, you guys, this one is delicious. The whole house smells so good. Oh my God, this one is good. This one is a keeper. This one's going on my list. I'm making a list of Yankee candles that actually do have a scent. So, yeah. And maybe it's also this concept of melting instead of burning. Hmm. So I was making some peach, pecan, and strawberry turnovers. And I thought, huh? I'm not smelling, what I smell is so good, but it's not anything that I put in there because I, you know, I've been mixing, so I know the smell of all this. It smells good and very fresh and fruity, but nothing like that, so yeah. So guys, it came even through the smell of all this that I'm making right now in the kitchen. I'll show to you what I'm making, but I already shared with you this recipe actually. The apple dutch, uh, uh, apple flapper or turnover, if you do that, in the search bar on our webs on our channel youtube channel i'm sure you'll come up with something so there they are guys is this delicious this the the taste delicious it's so easy to make please look them up on the channel look up uh i think I, we called it the dutch tree new year's dutch tree or turnover or apple flop any of these words should uh, give you a hit Guys, I still cannot get over how good this smells. Literally, the whole entire home smells like this. So good. It smells like a Christmas store. <laughs> now I understand why they sent us these as an extra, as a little gift around Christmas. But, um, I mean, it's not Christmas. It's maple chai. So, yeah. As we all know, chai is from the East, India and all that. So, but it just happens to have that smell of Christmas. So guys, a little update, since we're still doing uh, this little video that's focused around the Yankee Candle and the um, strength of their scent. This one, the, the maple chai, we've been burning last evening. Like I said, it's really, really good. And it smells, it smells sweet. It has something like Christmas cookies or something like that in that corner. That's, that's what you have to think of. So it's in that corner. It's definitely good, not overwhelming. Um, so, and after the, the little candle that's melting uh, this wax thing, uh, you know, burned up, um, we just left it as is, of course. We did not use a new candle uh, because the scent was all around in the house and, you know, we figure out it's gonna stay anyhow. Doesn't, it's not going to go uh, away anyhow. Well, now it's the next morning and the scent is still in uh, in our home uh it's it, it's still this this uh, presence of this really nice fragrance of uh, this yankee candle uh wax melt i think it's called like i said early in the video is really presence and uh really noticeable so i don't know i think this this is good this is what we want right i mean otherwise you're just going to use regular candles you go for the scented candles because you want the scent you want to smell the scent uh, around, you know, in your home. So I don't know. I think so far so good. But again, we've only been using one so far, that sweet maple chai. Uh, but we have other stuff like we showed you earlier in the video. So um, I don't know. I'll keep, I'll keep filming little updates until I have a nice video that I can share with you here on our YouTube channel. If you guys were wondering how much is left, after it's been uh, burning for about four hours, maybe or five hours, it's almost it's almost all of it is still there. Yeah. Just keep it straight up. See now you can see along the rim that it did not sink that much. 
I think you're just going to keep on using it until it has no more uh, scent. Ah, because the the wax does not escape. It's not evaporate. I don't know. I don't we'll know see. either. We'll see, guys. Hey, guys. So we're still doing this vlog for you. It's one video by here. It's been several days. We've been burning this for three days. I think a total of around 15 hours. And uh, so we burn it at least four hours a day. So we noticed that after the third day, there wasn't coming any scent of it anymore. I mean, practically no scent. So although it still has its color, but that's how it works with wa uh, wax. You cannot go by the color or the amount that you st still have in there. So, uh, because it won't burn up like a candle. Uh, so that will be a little bit confusing maybe the first time you use it. The fact that you still have wax in there that's colored does not mean that you can still burn it and expect scent. It's more like a scent burst. Uh, it's mainly the first and the second day. And then the third day uh, is a little bit uh, somewhat weaker, but it's still there. So yeah, so I'd say max three days that you get out of this or in hours about 15 hours something like that 15 or 16 hours but um that doesn't mean that uh you know this is bad compared to the votives for example that we've been using it's the same it's the same amount of hours only with this one the scent is much stronger so if you would have to choose between votives and this i would definitely choose this over the votives anytime because like i said this is noticeable in your home and it lingers around sometimes even when you when you haven't burned it again yet there is this scent that lingers in your home so yeah all in all now we're going to try another scent and see how that works see how that, how that is this one was very good yeah this one mike says this one was very good this one was really good this is the maple syrup chai Amazing, it's just it's the tart. Hmm. Yeah, the so tart. It's a very small one. Yeah, exactly. This was the tart because we got it, and now we're going to use the uh, try the melt. Ne? No, how do you say? Yeah, the melt. Yeah, the melt. Yankee candle melt. So this was the tart. Uh, egg shaped. Yeah, exactly. I don't know if the melts will be any different from the tart. I don't know either. So we're going to find out. We're going to find out. You guys are going to find out too. Oh, Mike, by the way, I read something which is very nifty on the internet. If you want to get rid of this, as it's melting, just, you know, put a little candle under there. And as it's melting, turn on, turn off the candle, blow off the candle, and then stick something like a little stick in there. And then just let it solidify again. Right? Yeah. That's what you said. Yeah, like we didn't do. No. Like we didn't do. <laughs> it's more like making popsicles, I would say. Yeah. Yeah, something like that. Something like that. Popsicle? See, Miko likes it too. I completely forgot to, to do that. So I'm not going to try and spoon it out. No, this is not, you cannot spoon this out. So you'll have to wait for it again. No, I'm, I'm going to give it a try. Okay. Let's see what happens. So that went easy. Guys, just spoon it out. that went really easy. <laughs> yeah, just push it on one side with a spoon and then it just glides off, slides off like this. Looks like one of these, <laughs> well, I, I'm going to try and keep it family friendly, but one of the stuff that you can find at certain cliniques anyway today we're making syrian a recipe syrian rice dish with a lot of chicken uh corn whatnot whole a lot of stuff the peas and oh sorry i almost broke it yeah. anyway by the way guys speaking of this subject of yankee candles that don't smell these we got these are the olives and the thyme Crazy thing is, we uh, a couple of years ago, we used to have this Yankee candle large uh, jar uh, and it had something with olives in it, in the name. Not really sure. Yeah, olives. it's the same. It's the same. Yeah, okay. I, yeah, and we got it on sale. We got it, this one on sale. But these little candles don't have any scent at all. But the one that we got, the big jar, had like a really nice scent and we uh, couldn't forget about it for a long time. So it's just it crazy how it works. Anyway, so this is this is the one we're going to try out today. The Yankee Candle Wax Melt, the Jasmine, Midnight Jasmine. So, we'll let you guys know how this one went. 
So we just took it out of the, the, the packaging. Midnight Jasmine Wax Melt. Oh, you guys, it smells divine. So now let's wait what it does after it's been melting. Oh, you guys, just we were like, just we were expecting that Midnight Jasmine is so, so good. It's just, mmm. Just so love it. This might be my number one scent so far. If you love jasmine. Mmm. This is our dessert. Chinese cake. Love it. So guys, I have no idea where I am in this video because it's been a couple of weeks and um, I keep filming bits by bits, hoping that eventually it will you know, uh, be assembled in a nice little video. So I have no idea what I told you at this point. But um, I think last time um, we shared some about, this was about the melt that we put in there. And the last one that we tried was the Midnight Jasmine, which was really good. Again, also for this melt goes that after a couple of days, I think you can do max three days with this. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah, and that's the... Yeah, the, the max, and then it's gone. Then uh, there is um, yeah, basically no scent me that you can pick up. So, um, yeah, what you can do, you know, to reinforce the scent a little bit is when you have that, but you don't have a new melt. What you can do is, which is a little bit uh, a cheaper option maybe, as an uh, in-between solution, is make sure that the candle you put under there, you know, to make it melt, has itself has some sort of a scent. Just go for something that's a little bit subtle so that it do not overpower or, um, uh, you know, um, be more stronger than the one in here. Just go for something subtle. Make sure that it has some sort of a scent. Add it in there and that way together, you'll still be able to, um, you know, enjoy a nice aroma. But uh, yeah, let's add this one in there. What we have here is what we shared with you, nothing new. This we shared with you in the beginning of the video. So we still have the mango peach salsa. We have the clean cotton. It smells like there's a smelling hole. Yeah. It smells good. Oh, that one smells really good. And this is the seaside woods. That one is also smells good. Look, it has a little hole in here. And this one, you already opened. Beach Escape. Oh, that one is nice too. Yeah? With this one? Yeah. Might get to pick this one this time. All right. So I think this will wrap this up. So by now, we've shared with you uh, what we think about the tarts, the Yankee tarts and the Yankee melts. And they're basically the same. Uh, that's what it comes down to. And uh, they both go only to max three days. That's the max that you get out of this. But again, we must stress this, max three days for us, because sometimes we light them uh, on, especially now in the winter when the days get dark, sometimes we light them up even around 2 a.m. or uh, 2 p.m. Uh, and today, it's even a quarter past 12. And today is 12, but it's been raining and windy. But it's Easter Monday. <laughs> it's Easter Monday, Mike says. So, uh, that's what I said. So that's, we get a lot of hours out of this, a lot of scent hours, uh, hours out of this. So just something you should consider. So if you only burn them for an hour or two every evening, you can even do even longer, maybe a week with this. Light it. Yes, let's light it. Let me see. Can you guys hear the wind? Makes it cozy. No, I don't hear wind. To have a, I hear wind. To have a candle and... Uh, oh, it's not... All right, so we're going to stop. I'm going to wrap it here. When it comes to the Yankee uh, candle tarts and melts review. And show you guys a little bit of outside. I know it doesn't snow anymore and maybe it doesn't look that rainy, uh, windy anymore. But trust me, guys, it was this morning. We had some sort of a mini, mini, mini snow. snowstorm. Yeah. Mini snowstorm, not Mickey, but mini. Mini.